Hello all, myself Mrs. Aishwarya Raikar, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science. Today we will see Relational Database System. Before going to Relational Database System, let's understand what is Database and what is Database Management System. So basically what is Database? So Database is nothing but what? It is nothing but a con collection of interrelated data which is used to retrieve, insert and delete the data efficiently. And it is also used to organize the data in the form of the table, schemas, views and reports. So let's take an example of a college database which organize our data about the admin, staff, students, faculty, etc. And using the database, we can easily retrieve, insert, delete the information. So the, whichever information we need, if it is at one place, so it will be easier for us to retrieve, insert, update, delete that information. Now, as I, we have seen, what do we mean by database? Now, let's understand what do we mean by database management system. So, database management system, it is, it is nothing but a software which we will be using in order to manage the database. When we are creating the database, there should be a software using which we can manage our database. What are the examples of database? MySQL and Oracle are the very pop popular and commercial databases. And database management system provides an interface to perform the various operations like database creation, storing data in it, updating our data, creating a table in the database and a lot more. So it is nothing but an interface using which we manage our database management system. So it provides the protection and security to our databases too. But obvious, it will not just help us to manage our data, to store our data, but using it, we can protect and secure our data too. So in case of multiple users, it also maintains the data consistency too. Now, with the help of the database management system, user can do the following task. First, data definition. Second, data updation. Third, data retrieval. And last, user administration. So data definition is nothing but what? Using data definition, user can create, modify, and remove the definition that defines the organization of the data in our databases and data updation will be used for inserting modification deletion of the actual data in the databases and when retrieval plays vital role once you have inserted the data but when you want to fetch the data when you want to retrieve the data from the databases at that time data retrieval plays the vital role then user administration it is used for registr uh, registering and monitoring users, maintaining the data integrity, enforcing the data security, dealing with the concurrency control, monitoring performance and recovering information corrupted by unexpected failure. Now let's have some, let's have an overview over the characteristics of the databases, database management system. So the very first characteristics is it uses a digital repository established on a server to store and manage the information. So our data which is stored on the server will be managed by using digital repository. It can provide a clear and logical view of the process that manipulates the data. And our database management system contains automatic backup and recovery procedure. And it contains the acid properties which maintains the data in the healthy state state in case of failure in our upcoming lecture we will be discussing acid properties in detail because acid properties plays vital role in database management system it can reduce the complex relationship between the data again it is used to support the manipulation and processing of data it will provide the security of the data too and it can view the database from different viewpoints according to the requirement of the user. That is, as per my requirement, I can view the database from the different viewpoints. Now, let's discuss the advantages of the databases. It controls the database redundancy, data sharing, easily maintenance, reduce time, backup, and multiple user interface. The very first advantage is database redundancy that is the repetitive data will be avoided that is it can control the data redundancy because it stores all the data in one single database file and that recorded the data its place that recorded data will be placed in the database data sharing the authorized users of an organization can share the data among the 
multiple users so that is the advantage that only authorized user of the organization can share the data among the multiple user easily maintenance it can be easily maintainable due to the centralized nature of the database system so database systems nature is centralized due to which it is easily maintainable reduces time as it reduces the development time and maintenance need backup it provides a backup and recovery subsystem which creates automatic backup of our data from hardware and software failures and it will restore the data if required so backup is an another advantage multiple user interface it provides different types of user interfaces like gui that is graphical user interface and application program interfaces these are some disadvantage of this database management system the very first is cost of hardware and software size complexity higher impact of failure so cost matters it requires high speed of data processor and large memory size to run the dbms software as the software needs large memory size and in order to support that software we need a hardware so cost is high size it occupies as we have discussed it occupies the large space of disk and large memory to run them efficiently so that is the second disadvantage complexity it will be creating a additional complexity and requirement as it is going to use complex levels of as it is going to do the complex levels of task so it will be creating the complexity higher impact of failure failure is highly impacted because in most of the organization all the data stored in the single database and if the database suppose if the database is damaged due to whatever may be the reason maybe electricity failure will be there or the database gets corrupted then at that time the data may be lost forever because data is lost forever what is the reason because the data is being stored in the single database and if that database gets damaged then there is no option the data is lost now let's just have a difference between file system and database management system that is i can store my data in file system also then why there is a need of database management system let's have a view so file based systems were an early attempt to computerize the manual system that is what that was the option to from manual system to file based system so that was the traditional basically that is the traditional based approach but that was the decentralized approach in which each department stored and control its own data with the help of the data processing specialist there will be a data processing specialist who will be handling that data using decentralized approach so what will be the main role of data processing specialist he will create a necessary computer file structures and he will also manage the data within that structure and it he will design some application program and then create that reports based on the file data so look at the diagram look at this diagram which will quickly summarize the example of the file system so here we can see look at this diagram there are the three files student file subject file result file so as you can see the fields are repeated so this is not allowed in database management system if you want to avoid this duplicacy then the database management approach is useful so this is nothing but the main purpose of database management system what is nothing but the approach it is a well organized collection of data that they are related in meaningful way which can be accessed by different users but stored only once in a system and what are the operations insertion deletion selection and sorting so that is the main purpose of database management system thank you